Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Ask Leah. Tonight's question came in via email, and it is a wonderful question, a tough question that a lot of people are grappling with at the moment. So I wanted to address it tonight. This question came in from someone seeking advice on how to deal with conversations around COVID and vaccination and government decisions within a family chat. You see, within this family messenger chat, there are a number of people in this person's family who are very angry, very negative about decisions being made around COVID. And it's really bringing this person down. And they said, look, I I appreciate they've got different opinions to me, but you know, it's such a negative space. I just don't want to be there anymore. So this person has actually removed themselves from the family messenger chat so that they didn't have to see it all. But what they found is they miss their family. This is such a connection point for this extended family. So she's rejoined the group, but she's noticed that the same thing is still happening. Now, she's after advice because she said to me, I want to be part of this group because I value my family. I don't want the negativity all the time, every time I jump in there, but I also don't want to cause conflict because they do have the right, whether we like it or not, to a different opinion. So she was after some advice on how to approach this. And here's what I suggested to her. First, perhaps reach out to a couple of the aunts that she's close with within this group via phone call rather than getting into a messenger back and forth because the challenge in messenger is we're just relying on the words uh, on the page we don't hear the tone uh, in someone's voice we don't you know really get what they're trying to convey necessarily so i suggested she reach out to the aunts and she say something like this you know I really value our family group. I really value being able to have your support and to draw on. And I miss you when I'm not part of that group. I know we've got really different opinions on things and that's okay. But I find that when we're constantly talking about this within our family chat, knowing that there's different opinions, it's really having an impact on you know, my mood, my mental health, you know, after a big day of work to jump in and see this, it's really dragging me down. But I value this connection. So I wanted to have a chat with you about how we could approach this. And here's where she can suggest a couple of different things. One might be, you know, could we ease off a bit on the COVID talk within this group? You know, knowing there's different opinions, could we perhaps ease off a bit? Or if we're not willing to do that, perhaps it's saying something like, well, how about if we set up a separate family chat that is the family chat without the C word, different C word. And maybe I'll jump in that one. And, you know, anything that's not related to COVID vaccinations, government, uh, we talk about in there what about that option okay the key thing here is not to actually get into the different opinions or who's right or who's wrong Uh, there's a time and place for that uh, but this isn't the time and place this is about how can you stay connected to your family uh, online when you have very different opinions and there is a way to do it i have seen it work in friendship groups as well uh, in a whole heap of different groups that are having to navigate this same thing Uh, so that would be my suggestion set essentially some ground rules for how you operate within that group Uh, it's not you know in official terms of reference but just some basics again understanding that COVID talk will come up it's affecting all of us but having that understanding of what is and isn't okay within a particular group. I hope this helps. If you have a communication or soft skill question you would like answered, please send it through. I know these are difficult times. I know we're having so many difficult conversations and I am absolutely here to help. So have a great evening and I'll see you again next week. Cheers.